Two Texas lawmakers are fighting against a deadly disease, all in memory of their mothers. Both lost their mother around the same time to ovarian cancer. As KXAN's Aaron Cargill reports, the two men are now trying to turn their loss into a win. Stands adjourned. When lawmakers were sworn in for the 2013 session, state reps Ken King and Kyle Cassell took the oath in front of their biggest cheerleaders. My mother, Linda, was the glue that held our family together. She did everything for everyone. She didn't know Ken's mom, Paulette, was sitting close by, also battling ovarian cancer. She came to inauguration, and the next day she went to Houston and received a clean bill of health from MD Anderson. But six months later, Linda died, and Paulette. By her birthday on March 4th, she was re-diagnosed, and by September she was dead. Both believe with better screening to detect ovarian cancer early, their mothers might still be here. My mother was a um, very strong, very independent woman, to say the least, and um, she absolutely despised um, pity parties. So they form KK125, a nonprofit also inspired by Andrea Sloan, another life cut short by the disease. Their mission we've got to find a cure. They've been raising money for ovarian cancer research and hope to cut down political bureaucracy that can get in the way of saving someone's life. I believe my mother is um, looking down on me and our little group and is extremely proud. Aaron Cargile, KXAN News. The name KK125 comes from the lawmaker's initials and the only blood test out there that can detect ovarian cancer early. It's called CA125. The lawmakers plan to file a bill that could help women get screened on a regular basis and have it covered by insurance.